In this problem, we're given two lines, and we're being asked to determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. It's kind of an interesting problem. So, solution. So the way we'll determine this is to solve each of these equations for y, and then we'll compare the slopes. So the goal, step one, is to write them both in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the one up top. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. x equals 6y minus 3. And we have to solve for y. So maybe a good first step here would be to get rid of the 3. So we'll add 3 to both sides. So plus 3 plus 3. So we have x plus 3 equals 6 times y. And we're looking for y, and it's being multiplied by the 6. So we can just divide both sides by 6. But you could take a shortcut. You can just divide each term by 6. Just every single one. So boom. That gives us x over 6 plus 1 half equals y. Let's go ahead and rewrite this and put the y on the left. So y equals x over 6 plus 1 half. Now the thing with x over 6 is you can write it in a nicer way. You can write it as y equals 1 half x, one, one, sorry, 1 sixth x plus 1 half. Let me go ahead and rewrite it down here. 1 sixth x plus 1 half. So you can do that, right? That's, that's allowed. And the reason is um, x over 6 is really just x over 1 times 1 over 6, which is really just x times 1 over 6, which is the same thing as 1 over 6 times x. So it's all the same. x over 6 is just 1 over 6 times x. So no, no difference. Okay, now let's go ahead and solve the other one for y. So I'll write it again, 3x plus 1 half y. And this time we'll subtract uh, the 3x from both sides. So minus 3x, minus 3x. That gives us 1 half y equals minus 3x. So to get rid of the uh, 1 half, which is a fraction, we can multiply by 2. That will cancel it. So 2 and then 2. So boom. So y equals negative 6x. All right, so now we can figure out if these are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So notice here the slope is the number in front of the x, so it's negative 6. So I'll call this m1. So this is our slope for this equation. So the lines are perpendicular if whenever you flip the slope and put a negative sign, you get the other one. So if you take negative 6, which is really negative 6 over 1, and you flip it and put a negative sign, you'll get negative, negative 1 over 6, which is 1 over 6. So, ah, you see here, the slope, which I'll call m2, is 1 over 6. So if you take this slope, flip it and put a negative sign, you get 1 6. That means they're perpendicular. Perpendicular lines are such that their slopes are negative reciprocals. You know what? Let's do it the other way. Let's take the 1 6, and let's flip it, and now put a negative sign. Boom! It's the same thing as this one. So if you take either slope and you flip it and put a negative sign, they're perpendicular. Now, they'll be parallel if they're the same. And if none of those things happen, then the answer is neither. That's it.